be kind of comfortable at first and I was getting that and then and then after about two weeks I was turned loose and I was on my own and it was re my responsibility for making all that um, they did give me a ton of leads at first and it was really good um, but then it started getting a little bit less as far as leads went and that was kind of one of my challenges and one of the things that brought me to you was hey I need to make I need to figure out a way to make this sustainable so I can continue making the amount of money that I was making which it came mm -hmm. so then when you started considering hiring a marketing agency right to help you out with marketing get more leads what was some concerns that you had well the main concern was kind of the cost because it was coming out of my pocket um, you know, I had, my, my company was great for the first two months, they helped me, they paid for, they actually paid for it all the first two months and because that was just the way that it worked out, but he had offered to pay for half of what I was doing. So um, he did that for the first two months and then after that I started paying for it myself. So cost was probably one of the main things, I would say. So then how do you justify that cost? Because a, a lot of business owners, they get really nervous about paying an outside guy for marketing, right? And it's. They all know it's an investment, but there's always that huge risk that, well, I might not ever get it back, you know? Well, I think that it's, I, I think what I've found, and I've only found this like in the last couple of weeks, the last month or so, is that you really get what you put into it. Um, and the great thing is I got some awesome ads and things like that, but I needed to put more into it myself. Um, and, and that's what I'm finding out, is that the harder I push, the harder I work towards it, the better off it is. So. Even though you're paying that, the risk is worth the reward as long as stuff is coming in and you're paying for that. And that's the way I really looked at it was, okay, yeah, I've got this bill that I have to pay, but I got this lead that paid for that bill. So, I mean, you, you got to think about it that way. Is it worth it and do what you get from it, you know, does it make, make sense? So, I'm getting leads, I'm making money off of it, it pays for it. How long did that take from start? You paid the bill from start to now. How long did it take to actually see any kind of results? It took about six months, and I think that one of the things that people don't understand, and I and I know, you know, talking to you on the phone a lot about that was, it takes patience. That's all there is to it. You know, um, we talk quite a bit about one of my influences right now is Gary Vanderchuk, and he just he's been preaching so hard about patience, and that it's not going to happen right there. And, um, you know, I started changing the way that I looked at it. I found my, I found my groove on Instagram is really where the majority of my, I like to call them supporters. I don't think they're followers because I think that they're supporting me and what I'm doing. And, um, I, I found that's where my groove's at. Facebook was where I was pushing most of my ads, um, which it does generate. I mean, I've generated leads from Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn. Uh, I don't know if I've got any from Twitter yet, but I mean, it's, that's really what it is. It's being consistent, pushing out stuff every single day. And um, it's, it's not the hardest thing that people don't understand and that I don't think I really understood it in the first place anyway was it's, it's not about sales. It's about building a rapport with those people that, that, are, that are in it with you. They build this rapport. They wanna buy from you as a person, not from, not from someone that they just see an ad run for. So the ads help. Um, but uh, it's not the only thing. You have to do more. You have to be willing to push yourself, push yourself a little harder and put yourself out there. So what kind of person were you? Because I remember the first day that I showed up and said, all right, we're going to make a video. How did you feel when we were going to make a video? And then what's the difference from then to now? I just, I, you know, I'm, I'm more comfortable. I mean, that really is what it boils down to. And uh, I had to get out of my comfort zone. And I know, I remember like one of the things that, when I before like my mindset was hey we need to get more people to support me I need more likes on my page I need more supporters on Instagram I need more people following me this and that and that's really what it was was like that's what I gotta do I need to get those and so when I started thinking about oh what can we do we talked about like running a contest giving away an Amazon card you know things like that and that's what I was doing well that was the only reason I was doing a live video it was to try and get more business and I realized that that's not really what it needs to be. It needs to be, you need to know me. You need to know who I am. You need to have a close relationship with me and you're not gonna get that by me just running a contest or me just asking you to buy from me because you could buy from anyone. There's 10 other blind companies in this, in this country 
are in this area in the Treasure Valley that you could buy from. But I want you to want to buy from a person who really cares about your best interest and wants to take care of you, not from, you know, just some guy off the street. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Good, good value, free value plus frequency equals online success for sure. And so now, what advice would you give someone who is considering to go and get marketing help? I think you've got to surround yourself with the right people that understand what it is. But you also have to do your own homework. You also have to be willing to work on it on your own. I mean, that's really the big thing. And, and a lot of what I do now, like with my, with my content stuff that I'm posting on the five different platforms that I'm posting on is... I'm seeing what's working for someone else. I'm going through and I'm like, hey, this is what this is what's working for them. This is what I want to use. This is what I'm doing. You know, um, like I said, I mean, I I'm so grateful that you have helped me to understand what that is. But you know, just as well as I did, that light didn't come on for you know probably two or three weeks ago, and and it's awesome. Like talking to people, my boss is a real big proponent for me. He's he's had very good conversations with me. He's it's like. He says, watching the videos from the beginning to now, which is like, you know, maybe three weeks ago, there's, there's a lot of videos. There's over 20 because, you know, I post stuff about barbecuing because that's really something that I want to do or that I like to do that I enjoy. I do it every Sunday. So you'll see a barbecue video on Sunday usually. Um, things like that, just talking about the way that I feel about things and, and how the way I was brought up and, and some of my values and things like that. Um, but, you know, I mean, that's, that's the thing. It's like it's become... Watch the first video. If you haven't watched it, go on Instagram TV, go on to my YouTube channel and watch the first video and then watch today. Watch yesterday. And I, you know, I was a teacher, so I stood in front of it and I talked to 30 kids every single day. It's completely different than talking to, you know, I mean, I've got seven, almost 700 supporters on Instagram. So, I mean, that's, you guys are like, oh, that's not a big number, but it was 320 or no, not even 320, 270 three weeks ago. So... Um, you know, I mean, that's six a, months ago was zero. Yeah, that's the thing. Six months ago was zero. I didn't. I had an Instagram account that my friends were following, but I didn't have this. You know, I mean, and that's the thing. It's like to get that good following, that organic following from people. There's only one way to do it, and that's to get yourself in front of people. And uh, you know, I mean, I see all these. I've I've looked like if there's something to be googled about getting followers, I've done it. I've been trying to find ways to get more. But what it really boils down to is the people who are following me now are people who have interest, I think. I mean, I, obviously there's gonna be some supporters, followers on there that are that are just there, you know, because they're just gonna follow something that they, you know, because someone followed them or whatever. But there's a lot of support there. Mm -hmm. So, Definitely. and it's, it's, you know, I don't know what the percentage is, but I can guarantee you they're watching because they want to. Mm -hmm. So our company, Aggressive Marketing Solutions, we. We don't want to be like the typical marketing company that says, all right, we're going to promise you all these leads and take your money. And if it doesn't work, we're still going to take your money and just keep going and not give you any advice or not. Like if it doesn't work, then I don't think that we should take your money, period. And so what would you say was our role in all of this? It's, it's kind of interesting because I, kind of, I kind, of feel like, uh, kind of feel like you're a counselor. I mean, at some point, because really what you did was you showed me what I needed to do. We talked a lot about it on the phone. Um, I don't know if I ran out of ad bunny yet or not, but the last time we talked, I said, I'm just going to let it run because I just, it, it's not bringing it value. You told me that, or it is bringing value, but it's not bringing what we thought it would be. Um, and that doesn't mean that I'm not open to having you make more ads for me later, but you and I talked about it and we yeah. discussed it and said, Hey, listen, it isn't working, and I think that's the, probably the best thing right now. Yeah. And uh, at some point, if it starts popping and it's more, because it does take time, you know. And I still have the ads that you created for me, and I can run those because they're they never they're timeless. They never really, you know, until those stop making those kinds of blinds and stuff. But <laughs> I mean, they're pretty timeless. So, I mean, I think that that was one of the great things is that you were willing to say, hey, yeah, you know, you're probably right. This is probably isn't going to work for you right now you know, and who knows if it won't work later, but right now at this young stage and what I'm trying to do, um, I think that it's the, it's the best for me right now to build that brand. And then, you know, 